Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Amber's Secret. Today, we'll be talking about keeping your faith and trusting the plan even when things seem like they're not gonna go well for you. This video is at the request of one of my really good friends who is experiencing a hard time that I completely identify with and I'm sure all of you can identify with it as well. So, the hardest thing that you will ever do in your life is trust your own advice or take your own advice. So, when things seem like they just are not gonna go right for you at all, you want to be successful and it seems like everything in the universe wants you to be unsuccessful. No matter the advances that you have, no matter how hard you try, nothing is just panning out for you at all. Well, if I were to give a real life example, um, I'm a recent graduate from undergrad at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, communication studies degree, uh, public relations, super duper involved with um, activities in undergrad, and I cannot find a job. No matter what avenue I try, I just simply cannot land a job. I have applied and applied and I have sent out resumes, I've job shadowed, I've done the things that I'm supposed to do, but from the looks of it, it does not look like I'm gonna get a job or have consistent cash flow anytime soon. And that's something that really bothers me because I am the type of person that wants to be financially independent as well as just independent overall. And I think that's something that keeps me from reaching that goal. And sometimes it can be very discouraging. It can feel like I'm completely alone in this. I have all my friends going to different awesome places. One of my best friends is in London right now and I'm so happy to see her, you know, traveling and doing those things. And, you know, I have friends that are going on their jobs, like they just graduated and they're going on their jobs already and they're making really good money. And it's really difficult to see those things when in my life, it looks like those things aren't happening right now. One of my best friends described um, being in certain seasons of your life. If something is not panning out for you right now, it might not be the right time for it to pan out for you. Pay attention to what God is trying to show you, what you should be working on in order to get to the next step of your life. I intend to go to law school fall 2016 at Texas A&M. Right now, I think God has given me the opportunity to sit down, slow down, and study for my LSAT so I can get the best score possible and potentially get some scholarship money. Keep the faith. Keep the faith no matter how bad it seems, it always gets better. Literally always gets better. So you have to trust that what God has in store for you is for you and you will get to it when you're supposed to, not when you want to. Because if God gave us everything when we wanted to have it, sometimes we wouldn't know what to do with it, you know, because we weren't, we're not prepared for it. So I'm here to tell you, I'm a walking example, like keep the faith. Even though I haven't been able to land a job, like I've had so many opportunities just come my way out of nowhere. I've never job shadowed a lawyer before. Now I'm shadowing a lawyer like every day at the courthouse. And I'm getting invaluable knowledge from that. That's something that I'm going to be able to carry with me to law school. And that could even, you know, put me in a better position when I get there. Trust God's plan. It's going to be a-okay. You are going to, you're going to be fine. You are going to be in a position that allows you to accomplish all the goals that you want to accomplish in your life. You just have to know that not everything is going to fall into place when you want it to. Things fall into place when they're when they should fall into place. And the last thing I will say about keeping the faith is you have to be so focused on your goal. You have to be so focused on what you want to do that you can't really see what's going on around you. You have to make the best out of the situation that you have because one day you're going to be exactly where you've always wanted to be and you want to be able to appreciate that. So 
all this hard work that you put in, all these fails that you have, they will turn into triumphs. Trust me, I've seen it happen. And you know, you just have to be really excited about your future. That's it. That's literally the secret to keeping your faith and continue to move and go forward. Even when it looks like you're just going to be standing still for the rest of your life. You can't think like that. Negativity is the worst enemy of the mind. You talk yourself out of things before you even know if you can accomplish it. Don't do that. But y'all got this. P.S. Before I go, I want to let you know if you have any video requests or anything that you would like to see me talk about, be free. Feel free to contact me. I'll leave my email in the link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay awesome.